Okay, I'm going to do a quick video here of 30 pieces of gear that I find myself using repeatedly, whether it's a day trip, a winter trip, a summer trip, a car camping trip, or in some form or another, I use some gear similar to this, usually a lightweight version, even for a long distance hiking trip, meaning to me that's 15 miles a day, you know, 35 to 45 pounds on my pack whether it's two days, three days, or five days, depending on, on the time. So these, these are all things I take in one form or another. Generally, just as you see them sitting here, of course, if it's an ultralight trip or a through hiking trip, then, you know, hopefully I'll substitute something smaller or, or maybe ditch it, you know. The obvious ones being the Bucksaw, 24 inch blade Bucksaw. You know, if I'm, if I'm doing long distance hiking, I'm not gonna take that. Um, and the tripod chair. Those are the two things that I'm going to ditch on a long distance trip. Everything else I'm basically going to take as it is sitting right here. Again, day trip, even if I just go out, you know, up to a friend's for a day and we're going out in the fields and walking around doing scouting trips, whatever you want to call it, this is 30 pieces of gear I take. So, my homemade buck saw. If I'm going to have a fire, that's coming. If I'm going to sit by the fire, my little tripod chair is coming. Uh, we're going to be out, you know, for even half a day or a day. This four liters of water is coming in the car and maybe with me in my pack. Maybe I'll dump some of it out, but because this is a bladder style, it's not just a bladder, there's a mylar bag in there and this is nylon on the outside. I can hang this up and there's a little spigot on there. Fantastic four liter uh, Sea to Summit pack tap, it's called. Uh, my food bag, depending on where I'm going, it's been in there. My pot cozy, as well as these little two cup uh, Ziploc containers. This is what I, this is my bowl, this is what I eat out of. My glacier stainless steel cup, the Esbit stove, my light my fire spork, and the little uh, uh, pot grabber to get it out of the fire. So my, my stainless steel cup has a bale on it here, just craft wire. There we go, we can take it out of the fire. Well, that didn't work, but anyhow. Goes like so. So, take it out of the fire. Alright. Hot chocolate and tea. Comfort. A little piece of cutting mat. If I'm cutting up meats or whatever, I'm not going to do that on a picnic table and get that all germy and smelly. A little cutting mat weighs nothing. Olive oil and camp soap. Dr. Bronner's soap. Some guys will laugh. A lighter is coming. Usually a small one. I found that one on the ground works well. My six-piece spice kit. My water bottle, stainless steel. Paper towel. Of course, if I'm through hiking, I'm not going to take something like this. I'm going to make you know use wet naps or something like that. My frost mora with the strap. My cheapo Vividar $29 still camera. An extra bandana. Phoenix LD20. Uh, light with the headband and extra ultimate lithium batteries. Two pairs of gloves. These are fingerless gloves. I use them whenever I'm cutting processing my firewood. When I'm working on the fire, full leather gloves. Carmex. Extremely important. My wind, my lips get wind chapped really easily when I'm out there. A sip pad. Just a 12 by 14 half inch closed cell phone pad. Yep, not feel my saw there. Oh well. The dog leash. Some doggy doo-doo bags. Lately I've been really liking to put on gaiters. I've been trying to wear shorts a little more often. I'm not really a shorts person, but even when I'm hiking out in the woods, I put on these nylon gaiters. They don't weigh much, they're compact. I like them. If I'm staying out overnight, or just even going to somebody's house overnight, I'm taking a pair of long johns that kind of look like sweatpants, even in the summer. These Try and get in the car or in the pack somewhere. Spring, fall, winter, of course, long johns are helpful. An extra t-shirt, something to change into. Of course, an extra pair of darn tough uh, merino wool socks. This real thin nylon wool uh, polypropylene cap. Of course, my baseball cap. I always take my baseball cap everywhere. My wool shirt's coming, even when it's 95 degrees. People laugh, it goes in the car with me. If I'm going out to the lake or whatever, it's with me, I stay warm. Some kind of reading material, maybe not something this big, but that's coming. 
My little three pound sleeping bag. That finds its way in the car. And lately I've been wearing these water shoes. These are Wildcat water shoes I picked up while I was in Tennessee. Uh, they're not going to wear forever, I can't, but I wear them, you know, around the house. Get out of those hiking boots, put on a pair of water shoes. If you're going to go out on the water and do boating, water shoes does it. Okay, that's my 30 pieces that I am using all the time.